Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I think this should be the first video on RF. This should be the, because I want to introduce you to different uh, type of connectors which are there in RF and different type of cables that we use in RF communication and especially uh, when it comes to testing RF equipment or RF component. Uh, for example, normally, so I just want to show you this cable first. This is for my Rhodes and Schwartz uh, cable uh, for my RF generator. Uh, so this type of a connector that you see, that you find on these type of a coaxial cable that you can see. Uh, this is by Rhodes and Schwartz. So this type of a connector that you normally see, this is norm normally an N-type connector. So the thing that you need to remember about these connectors and adapters are, uh, so this, as you can see, the pin is sticking out. This pin is sticking out basically means that this is a male connector. So whenever you see a pin sticking out in the middle, this is actually means a male connector. On the other hand, if it has a receptor like this, no, no, pin is not a sticking out, that means it's a female connector. So this type of a connector that you see, uh, this is actually for, uh, this type of a connector is known as N type connector and this is actually a coaxial cable that has a very minimum loss uh, I exactly don't know how much loss is there but this cable is rated for up till uh, 24 gigahertz because the VNA the, the one that I have it's rated for 24 gigahertz so this introduces a very small loss so this type of a connector that you normally find uh, this is uh, for it and this is known as an N type male connector on the other hand uh, like for my uh, lower frequency VNA, there's also a connector on one end. This is an N-type male connector. And all of your test equipment comes with a female connector at the end. Your cables will come always with a male type of a connector. So this is a male N-type connector. On the other hand, it has a male SMA connector. So SMAs are very popular in RF. These SMA connectors are very, very popular. Uh, we like to use N-type connectors, we like to use SMA connectors, and this is an SMA connector. As you can clearly see, there's a pen sticking out, so this is a male connector. So this goes, one end goes to your DNA or your RF generator, the other goes to your DUT device under test, and, and this is how you connect your devices. So one end is SMA, uh, and N-type male connector, sorry, and the other end is SMA connector. And there are different adapters which are also available. Uh, so the other type of cable that you probably have seen at lower frequencies is actually your BNC type cables like these. Uh, this type of a connector is known as BNC connector. Uh, this is normally goes into your devices. As you can see, your test equipment always have a port that is female and your cable will always have a port male. So this is BNC male. All right, so you need an adapter like this to connect this. Uh, normally you can just connect it into your function generator or your uh, oscilloscopes. Uh, your oscilloscope probe also has a connector like this, BNC connector. This connector is normally for lower frequencies. So right now I have a BNC male to male cable. I can use different adapters to connect in front of it and, and, and do different type of testing. Uh, the other thing that uh, that you might see in other type of connectors, you might even find a connector like this. So, for example, uh, if you so this is an N-type male connector, and on the other hand, it has a male threaded side connector. So, if I watch, if if I want to screw on something, like for example, if I have an antenna, I can just simply screw on my antenna. So, let me just give you an example. So, this is an N-type connector, male connector. On the other hand, you have female. Uh, male SMA connector. Uh, just to give you an example, you can connect an antenna in front of it. Uh, so, so, so right now this one is male, but I can use another adapter from female to female and then I can connect my antenna uh, to, to this adapter. And you can connect a different cable. So this is one type of a connector. Then the, I have another connector. This is from N-type male connector to N-type BNC connector. Sometimes, like for example, if you have a cable like this, uh, like BNC type cable, and you wanna use an N-type adapter, and so this is an N-type adapter to BNC type adapter. 
So you want to connect it onto your uh, function generator or your uh, RF generator, and then you can use a BNC. On the other hand, you can use a cable like this to actually visualize your RF generator in, uh, uh, output to your oscilloscope. So this is one type of a connector. And then we also have something called BNC to BNC. This is female BNC to BNC connector. So for example, if I have an adapter like this and I can connect my BNC like this. Uh, just give me a minute. I can connect it like this and then I can screw back in. So now I have also have an adapter. So this is actually an SMA, a BNC female to female adapter. All right. On the other hand, I can also have an N-type connector with a female BNC adapt, uh, uh, receptacle like this. And I can also connect my cable. So for example, if I have a cable like this, yeah, I was just telling you about this earlier. So I can just simply insert this cable in and I can use this as a connector as well. So this is one type of an adapter. There are so many adapters are available. I mean, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, you got to have all of this. Sometimes you need uh, different type of adapters to do a different task. Like for example, now I have a BNC cable. Now this one has BNC female, which will go into the BNC male. On the other hand, I have a male SMA output. You can have female SMA output, you can have male SMA output. So this, this just simply goes in like this and I can connect it like this. Boom. And, and then you can have an adapter like this. Then I also have an adapter like this as well. So for example, this is a threaded version, like a screw on version of a female BNC. And out at the output, I'll get an SMA female adapter female uh, point so I can connect my cable to it so for example I have a cable like this uh, like like this on the other hand of this cable I believe it's male or female let's see so this is a male male SMA as you can see the pen is sticking out I can connect this I can connect this to my oscilloscope or my function generator one end could be connected to my uh, let's say spectrum analyzer that has an n type connector to it so i can also do this uh, there are different there are so many different adapters that you got to know what you need uh, like also in smas now you have different categories like i have this as an l shaped adapter on the other hand you have a threaded like a screw on female and on the other hand i have a male so i can screw on a male antenna uh, or a female antenna and other devices like this. Then uh, you will find also like a T-shaped adapters. So if you want to provide power to it, power to two different places, I can connect using two different cables and, and then provide power. So this is this could be male, this could be female, or this could be both female. In, in my case, I have both of these females and the input is like female type. Then you can have something like this. Uh, both sides are male, threaded. Uh, like a screw, like a screw shape. So this is a male to male adapter, SMA. Now, this is the most important one. This is the one that I use a lot. Uh, this one is actually female to female threaded. So I can use and I can connect both sides of my SMA cable. Like for example, I think I made a video on attenuators. You can just connect an attenuator on one end and then connect the other part other cable to the port 2 of your VNA and then connect your attenuator here and start checking to see the response. Uh, so this is one. Then you can also have a version, different version of these. So you can have a female and on the other hand, both sides female like this. One is the threaded part, one is like the screw on. And you can have one, both sides female, you can have both sides male or you can have one side male, one side female. Just like the one that I have uh, here somewhere. Uh, but you can have something like this as well. Then we also have an adapter like this. Uh, so this is basically the one that screws or solder onto your PCB. So when you're designing these uh, RF circuits, sometimes you need to solder these connectors. Like for example, if you're designing it on your PCB. So let's take an example of this PCB. So this is an FR4 substrate. Uh, so if I want to just solder it, so this is the way I'm going to do it. So if you can clearly see, I'm going to use this, these two prongs to actually tie up here. And this is how it will be soldered. On the back of it, both sides will be your ground. 
So this would be solder on to your um, FR4. And this, this side, this main pin, this the middle pin. So these are just to hold on to it. These two that you see right here, these, these two, these are just will be solder onto the board. And this is the one that is actually providing um, uh, voltage to your antenna or to your circuit and things like that. And in order for you to check it, just simply screw on your cable and then you can start checking to see. So this is the one that we use for PCBs. Uh, normally, uh, we would like to have a female, but this one is male. Uh, when you're designing any type of, when you're making uh, amplifiers and other things or antennas, PCB based antennas, you want to make sure this side is not the screw type, it should be a threaded type beam female like this. And this is the one, this middle part is actually where you're going to provide your voltage and these two are just the grabbers which are going to solder onto your PCB. Uh, so this is just the basic idea regarding what type of a connectors which we have available. Of course, these are the ones that I have, but you can have as many as you want. I mean, there are different adapters for just about anything now. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, when you're using these adapters and when you're checking your device under test, you gotta, you gotta first check and see what is the response and remove that to your overall gain if you're looking at an amplifier because this will definitely provide some kind of an attenuation when you're using the more adapters you will use, the different stages will provide different type of attenuation. So you won't see a perfect result that you would expect from your amplifier or for your other device that you are testing using VNA. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.